Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Adams Wright 91-0459-01. This is what they call a mortise kit deadbolt, is what it is. Um, so if you have an E-Force 150, this is going to be a component that is used in the transmission or the driving of the lock itself. And these are not common to sell, but we do sell them. Um, I do sell the uh, latch version uh, as well, probably more so than the deadbolt version, but this is what it is. These parts, um, all parts, whether it be a Adams Wright lock or a piston in a car, everything wears out with enough use and time. Um, and this video is to help determine whether or not this is the proper item for your application, okay? couple of basic dimensional properties. The good thing about determining whether or not this is appropriate for your application is it's for an E-Force 150. If you have that lock this is and, and you have a dead bolt, this is probably it. Overall diameter of this item that would otherwise look like a cam disc is inch and an eighth. Its overall thickness appears to be about five-eighths of an inch. It's going to include a couple of fasteners to attach it to the lock body. Now, let's switch to the screen view and let's take a closer look at the supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are indeed looking at. Mortise kit deadbolt. Replacement part for the E-Force 150. It's item 10 in the template. Well, here's the template. Let's take a look at it. Um, as I said earlier, the dead latch version, in my experience, is more common. It's probably a three to one sale, three of these to one of these. The CVR is even <clears throat> more common as well to sell that part. I don't recall the last time we've sold a replacement, you know, plug assembly or drive assembly or mortise kit for this lock. The bottom line is the rotational force of the lever is what's, is what's going to translate to pulling the bolt back. And um, as I said earlier, it's a maintenance part. Well, this document will also show you the other replacement parts available for the E-150 or the E-Force. Speaking of that, there is a link below this video uh, as seen here to the manufacturer's page. And from there, you can pull up not only all of the Adams Wright products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, their full product catalog, which will open. But first, this parts manual. Now, this parts manual does not at all have everything in it that you could possibly need from Adams Wright. Unfortunately, it's just not a comprehensive document, though for what they publish, I believe the document to be comprehensive. Um, so what I'm saying is you might work uh, on an application for Adams Wright products that you don't have a parts diagram. It's my understanding that it's just simply not available. But it does, this document, have this uh, parts manual for the E-Force 150. Now, that link to the catalog, let's take a look at the E-Force, just in the sense of putting some context. Okay. You can look at the entire lock should you want an overview of the cut sheet. may or may not be what you're looking for, but uh, a little thin in terms of supporting documentation when it comes to a mortise kit for the E-Force 150, but wanted to point this out to you. The cut sheet would be here. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. In conclusion, it's uh, quite nice that Adams Wright makes these parts available so that you can, uh, of course, continue to get useful service out of the significant uh, investment in door hardware. That E-Force lock is going to be seen on those aluminum storefront openings. Uh, you know, it's obviously a combination access lock. It's probably not used on the front of your house, uh, so it might be 
you know, a commercial application where you are dependent on the hardware working correctly so people can come and go get to work and report. Any questions on the Adams Wright 91-0459-01? And by the way, the IP just means individually packed. If you see an MP on their part numbers, that means multi-pack. It's a pack of 10 when you see an MP. Um, speaking of acronyms, if you ever see MS, that's an Adams Wright trademark. That means maximum security. You'll see MS all over the place when it comes to their material. Any questions on this or any other Adams Wright product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.